away. Just uh, about to leave the campsite here, nice and early. It's a quiet campsite here. And feel like another day on the bike, heading inland this today into the forest and uh, staying near a lake this evening. And also uh, visiting the museum on the way. That should be a, another good day on the bike, so it looks good. the day having our breakfast down here. Taking over the table there, breakfast, got the field backer. To ourselves this morning just about. We'll sit here and watch the boats and the coffee going here. That was a nice breakfast here in the harbour. Just uh, slowly watch the boats coming in, see the town waking up. That was nice. So uh, we just packed away. I'll get on the road again and uh, let's go see a bit more of Sweden. Oh, we're just stopping in this. Uh, Attraction here on the way, not far from Wittlicke. This is some granite stones that have been uh, compressed under the earth millions of years ago, and about 5,000 years ago they reappeared. And uh, these uh, paintings been carved into them. Oh, just another stop on the way. Here's the Wittlucke Museum, the Tannum World Heritage Museum. Yes, yeah, so let's have a quick look what there is to see here on the way. It just started raining, so looks like we found a place to hide under here. What you doing, man? <laughs> These crazy people on the holidays. <laughs> oh, lunch is now under the bridge. Everybody's uh, a nice job here. We have a nice couple Restaurant here. With, uh, some different meats and uh, cheese, yeah, free, cheese. Papa's restaurant under the bridge. Great. Sounds great. All the tired bikers are having to sleep while we wait for the rain to stop. from the bridge they emerge and time to get going rain proofs are on time to do a bit of biking in the rain doesn't seem like it's gonna stop at the moment that was uh, lucky we managed to find that bridge there just where we were planning to have some lunch but it started to rain so luckily we could just hurt fit under and uh, get some shelter from the rain during the lunch. So uh, the rain should stop shortly, but uh, so far it hasn't. Let's see how long it lasts until the sun comes back out. Just a few hours ago, we we're sweating to death when we we're looking at those uh, rock paintings there. And now it's just raining. Yeah, things change quickly. Electric bike people. I wonder if you tell me if Jamie hot on the wheel on the tail. Maybe you can catch up with the electric bikes. He likes the challenge still. I might have be beaten by anybody, even though they've got 300 watts extra.
opposite far left the road. Yeah, just here, this is the border. That house there is actually in Norway, so they even have a Norwegian flag. No border fence for anything. This is the next campsite. This week we're all very organised, planning ahead and booking ahead. Normally we don't do that, we just turn up. <laughs> but, uh, this week we have to plan a little bit. Mm, tents are up. New place, nice location we got. The campsite here, next to the lake. Uh, Jamie's just been doing a bit of fishing, always at the tent up, so he's happy. Ready for a night here. Very close to the border of Norway. Museum from the olden days here. Yeah. Huh, it smells like my dad's carriage. Yeah. A push bike here with a with an engine. Back wheel. And time for burger and chips in the local restaurant here. Yeah. Can't be easier. I'm just trying to catch a vibe, can you feel me? Long as we live in our lives, then it's okay Everything is okay well, That was the end of a yeah, nice touring day here in Sweden Funny to think we started this morning in Fjellbaka Which is a completely different contrast to where we are now on the lakes here and this, uh, In the forests uh, So yeah, that was quite good Had a bit of a funny time at lunchtime having to uh, Shelter from the rain under a bridge. I haven't tried that before. That was something uh, new. That was quite good. <laughs> Just enough space for the five of us. So that was good. So we're uh, back on the bikes as well tomorrow. Heading uh, south again tomorrow. Following this lake. Actually, it's a long lake. We can follow for about 45 kilometers. We'll be heading south and we'll see if we can do a bit of a uh, wild camping tomorrow. There's no uh, other campsite between here and where we started Smurgen. So uh, Meadow's parents, they are biking with us the last two days back to Smurgen. And uh, after that, we'll be heading off somewhere else we're not sure yet maybe go to Lapland I don't know we'll see <laughs> what uh, we feel like doing but uh, got another couple of days with uh, Torben and Lena so uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow I don't think the weather's going to be too good tomorrow looks like a lot of rain coming in so we'll see how it goes anyway so okay see you tomorrow on the bikes again here in maybe rainy Sweden <laughs>